Hello everyone, um, my name is Kyle Monahan and this is part three of the deep learning tutorial, how to export remote sensing data, um, Sentinel-2 data in particular, uh, from ArcMap, for ArcGIS Pro, excuse me. <clears throat> so we have our Sentinel-2 uh, imagery here, um, and I'm going to focus on Ponce, Ponce um, in Puerto Rico, uh, and I'm just focusing on here as one of my, my case studies for this example. And we want to export uh, this imagery. We have some really nice imagery, relatively cloud-free, and I'd like to classify some of the agricultural area here. So um, what I want to do is export raster. So I click on it so I can enable this image service layer to pop up. I go to data. I export the raster. Um, in my case, I, uh, I'm going to place it actually inside uh, a geodatabase on my desktop. In there, I'll call it something like uh, Sentinel to export. Now, one of the things to note, if you were to try to do this manually, you must have below 4,000 rows. So if I try to do this right now <clears throat> and just export it without changing anything, it's going to give me an error. So actually, as rough as this is, we have to go um, a little bit closer, something like this. And, uh, and try to export this. So once we, if I say, let's see if I just go back and maybe go, I actually think I'll be able to get most of it in here like this. And now if I want to say uh, current display extent, it will automatically adjust. And let's see if I've gone below. I have, good. So I'm below that 4,000 rows and columns. Um, and oh, Let's see why it didn't like, potentially it didn't like some of the default settings here. Let's see. Let me take a look at this and then I'll start up in a second. All right, and so I did. Um, I did figure out how to get that to export. I think it just I had not fully selected uh, the values. But here we have the Sentinel-2 imagery exported in a TIFF format. So you can see that um, it exported that imagery for us. Now, uh, normally you'd want to do some atmospheric correction on here. One thing to note is that uh, you'll want to be really careful. Um, so if I go back to the original image layer. These processing templates, I did leave one of the processing templates on, um, you know, if I wanted to use something like normalized difference vegetation index, I might want to, to, to do that. Um, one thing to note, if you leave it as none, uh, it'll take a while to reload. That will give me the raw data, so it won't actually do any processing on that data. I will admit that that can... And, as it just did again, it, it takes a lot to download that. Um, yeah, so it, so because it's Sentinel-2, it has a lot of bands in it. So I'm going to actually switch it back to maybe something like... Um, yeah, so I'll switch it back to something like agriculture um, as an example. But here we are. So we have this imagery. I'm just going to close this out. You can see that yeah, we really should think about um, about uh, normalizing this imagery and atmospherically correcting it. Um, in these transition areas, we are having some differences, uh, so so that might be a problem. But now we've we've extracted some of our Sentinel data uh, for for us to use, um, and we're kind of ready to go. If I wanted to say, um, so if I go back here, if I wanted to get higher resolution data, so I can kind of see a little bit higher resolution than what I've managed to export in this original data set. Not much higher, right? If you compare them side by side, right? Um, but a little bit higher. So there's a couple of things I could do. I could uh, go through and, and look at, <clears throat> in this case, the cell size. 
Now, by default, Sentinel-2, if you look at the actual um, uh, resolution, right, it's 10 meters. So this being in meters should be fine. Um, but we do want to be careful about that. Uh, the left, right, bottom, etc. Let me make sure this is in meters too. So projection is my main role is not a JS person. I forget if 1984 web mercator is in meters. Let's take a look. Another way I can do this is by going here, properties, meters. Yep. And then I think I can also go to, yeah, it's in meters, and there's 10 and 10, basically 10. Cool. So now we have band 11, band 8, and band 2 modified to show um, uh, agricultural uh, exported here uh, in Sentinel 2. Here we go. So this is just an example. If you never worked with Sentinel 2 before, um, this is one way to get it out. The other way is to use an API um, to download those files. You can also use the USGS Earth Explorer, um, but this is a nice way if you want to stick a write in ArcGIS Pro.